Here we have some problems where we're being asked to write some equations for problems that model a variation. And you may have run into variation before uh, when you get the type of problem that says one variable varies directly or inversely with another variable. And uh, just as a refresher, I want to put the basic formulas up here. So when we're talking about direct variation, when y varies directly with x, we would say y, the thing that varies, equals k, and that's our constant of variation, times x. So direct variation is just multiplying it by the constant. When you have inverse variation, which is the other type, uh, if y varies inversely with x, what you do is you put the constant of variation on top here, uh, but the x goes on the bottom of a fraction. So direct variation up here, inverse variation here. It's also possible to combine these two types of variation in one problem, and that's what we're going to see here, and I want to show you how to do that. Let's read this first problem. It says write an equation that expresses the following relationship. D varies directly with W, and D varies inversely with P. So that's a combined type of variation. Let's uh, see how we would write this by just writing the first part. D varies directly with W. So I'm going to have D and my equal sign, and then I'll have the constant of variation, and it gets multiplied by W because uh, this is direct variation. Now, D also varies inversely with P, and what we did here is we put um, the thing that's uh, being inversely varied with down on the bottom of a fraction. So that's all we have to do here, just keep this stuff on the top of the fraction and put our uh, thing that D varies inversely with on the bottom. So we get D equals K times W over P, and that expresses this. All right, let's try one more. This one says W varies directly with the cube of U. Okay, that's a little different. We've got a cube. And W varies inversely with D. Let's try this first part. So W is going to be on our left here because that's the thing varying. And it varies directly. So there's our constant of variation with the cube of U. So that's just K times U to the third power. W varies directly with the cube of U. And then since it varies inversely with D, we just put that part on the bottom of a fraction. And that's all there is to it. So that's a little bit of work with writing equations for problems that have to do with variation.